On this episode of Content Sessions, we talked to Same Shift about going all in on hip hop. Welcome to another episode of Content Sessions. I had to do it real corny that time. I don't know why. <laughs> You're Same Shift. Hey, you. Thanks so much for coming by. No problem, Super excited no to chat with you. Uh, we met uh, just once before, but uh, I vibe was fucking great yeah and uh i really like your music so i'm super happy that you came to chat dope dope man appreciate yeah. it appreciate um it. so let's start off with new music's out dropped a new single um it's called uh dreams featuring three times three record is different i saw the uh video on youtube the video the video just came out then is that right yeah the video mm-hmm. the audio just came out yesterday on all streaming platforms spotify apple itunes nice yeah uh really creative stuff who is it that you worked with on that uh three times three yeah. times three yeah he actually didn't even want to do the record mm. i kind of told him I'm like you're crazy if you don't do this i'm like <laughs> You know, I'll take the whole song or you can hop on it, whatever. Just give me the song if you don't want to do it. So literally that th- song is going to go in the garbage and then you just brought it back to life. You know, that's a good, yeah. story. That's yeah. a good, that's yeah. a good path for it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah. tell me about, uh, tell me about how you got started with, with rap, hip hop. Um, been around it like my whole life. Like my dad was an artist, um, coming up, like he used to actually work with Sean Paul back in the day. I guess before Sean Paul was who he is now, I guess, you know, so like I've always been around music when I was younger. He had a little studio, used to mess around with the mic, you know, and then, you know, growing up still kind of messed around. And then I didn't really take it serious until probably about a year and a half, Mm -hmm. year and a half ago, a year ago, you know, I've always done it, but not at this extent like not at this level you know yeah, yeah. so what were you kind of were you kind of like were you ever doing anything like in studio before or you just just kind of fucking around with it no yeah i was just fucking around like i mean like knowing what i know now like i was kind of delusional back then like thinking like you know i would probably drop one song a year with a video and think that i'm gonna blow you know what i mean <laughs> Take so over the world baby. like and then i started realizing <laughs> started studying that it takes more than that so i actually just started recording a lot of music and then, you know, learning how to release it the right way, and yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of people I talk to that uh, think there's like that one viral thing, and that's yeah. like the thing. But the challenge is always the follow up, especially yes. if you have that one thing that takes off. It's yeah. like cool. Now what? <laughs> the next project is like yeah, definitely a big discussion on it. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, Sean Paul. So did you? I guess you did you like grow up with him, or are you around like in the family, or? Who, who are you? Sean Paul. About? No, I no. never, no, definitely you don't know. never met him, don't know him. Oh, yeah, okay. Just, yeah. It was just like people that my father knows, like things that people talk about in the past, like so I know his history right. and music and stuff, so I was always around it. Like, mm-hmm. I guess even when people see him now, like they'll still talk about it, like, you know, you're kind of like your dad, like, you know, that guy's mm-hmm. a legend, he was supposed to be this, so and so and so, and, you know, so. Mm-hmm. And so where do you get... Um, where do you get your lyrics from? We talked to a, a painter actually on Sunday who was a former NHL player, uh, and then he, because of concussions, couldn't keep playing, and then he kind of got into painting. So it was an interesting, interesting transition for him. So how, like, where do you come up with your my lyrics? lyrics? Where does it Where does it come from for you? It's based on how my day's going, hmm. based on my mood. You know, like every song I've written was like my mood. Like if I'm having like let's say for one day I made a lot of money or something or you know what I mean then I'll start talking about happy stuff or you know a club or I don't know mm. if I'm down you know if it has to do with a female it could be in the past I could be kind of mixing fiction with non-fiction mm. you know what I mean depends on my mood yeah you know whether I'm drunk whether I'm sober <laughs> the time of the day yeah you know but like I try to be as honest as possible when I write, mm. you know? Yeah, and so what's your kind of overall process? Do you do a lot of like, do you have a notebook? Do you type on notes on your phone? Like what's your kind of? Actually, I write it in my phone, but what I do sometimes is if I hear a melody, 
which I used to like kind of fuck up on a lot, where I have a melody or a concept in my head, and then I go back to the beat, and then I forget it. So now what I do is I just take my phone, go into voice note, voice memo, and I just record the memo, the, the melody. Even if there's no words, I just go, nah, 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 nah. and as long as it's there, I go back to the beat, and then I can go and build with that, you know? Mm. So... And are you? I know some people they'll like record a little bit of that, and then they use a uh, like garage band or whatever, and they're actually like making. I mean, not fully producing, but mm-hmm. do you make? Do you actually like make kind of half songs or partial songs on your phone with that? I, I wish I could. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how to really work those kind of things. Mm-hmm. I just do the whole thing on voice note. Yeah. As long as the melody's in my head, I kind of know how I want it to sound, and then I can kind of write with it after I hear it. You know, play it back. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And then do you? Um, in terms of like producing, do you, uh, it's funny, hip hop and that is, there's a lot of similarities with stand up comedy, which I'm obsessed with that kind of process right yeah. now with like yeah. the preparation and how the final product comes out. Mm. Do you, um, I see a lot right now, people are using their phones in the booth to kind of while they're recording. Mm-hmm. Is, that a, is that a thing you do? Like, do I read off my phone yeah. when I record? Yeah. Because if I'm writing with a pencil, I'm probably going to forget my ideas like because it's kind of slower if i come up with a line i can just you know if i if it's a pencil Mm. it takes me a little bit to kind of put it down on the paper so it's easier for the memory that's how i feel everybody's different though right sure so yeah yeah um and so how many songs do you have now how many things you got out out Mm. about five songs five songs yeah 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 i think i have five songs how many in the how many in the pocket uh (laughs) A lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you working on, are you trying to compile that? Are you thinking about it as compiling an album or are you kind of thinking about dropping a bunch of singles or like a mixtape style thing? Do you have a plan? Um, eventually. Mm-hmm. We'll kind of see how it goes with the next couple of singles we release, right? Like obviously an album, EP is always smart to do, process, but, but at the same time without marketing and proper rollout, like I don't want to waste my music. Yeah, you know when a lot of people can hear it versus just like a hundred people, and then it just goes to waste. You know, sure. so yeah. yeah, I like. Um, did you see? Uh, I really, I'm obsessed with what Tiara Wack did. Did you see that the one the first album she ever put out? It was like mm-hmm. all one minute songs. No, I never, never even heard. Of it. No, no, yeah. super dope. She's yeah. like, uh, she's very like quirky mm-hmm. very interesting lyrics very playful mm-hmm. um so she put it out an album where every song was one minute and yeah. the idea was you could take that song and it was the perfect length to mm-hmm. make like a video on instagram mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. minute post right mm-hmm. um and then so she took all the feedback from all those one minute ones mm-hmm. and then spun that into an album oh really after the fact wow yeah, yeah that's creative mm-hmm. yeah Never heard of it. Yeah, and yeah. there's all like each one had like its own like weird, obscure little music video in that. Mm-hmm. It was really interesting. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, so. yeah. Dope, dope. Mm. Um, and so I think I was talking to Sal. He said you were working on, you guys are doing some touring or are you going to go perform a little bit in London and stuff like that? You're working on some shows? No, I actually mm. did a show um, last month, open for Rich Homie Kwan in Hamilton. Mm. Um, in terms of future shows, there's nothing really solidified yet. We're yeah. working on it, so yeah, yeah. If you had your choice, would you go? Would you be performing shows, or are you more just like a in the booth making music kind of guy? I'd rather do shows, man. Yeah. That's everybody's dream, like to go on tour and perform for people. Like, mm. yeah. yeah. If I can do that, if I get that out of this, that's you know, I'll be happy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. I have talked to people that are more just like creative in the closet, just like I don't want to. I want to do it, but I don't want to be like. No, you gotta, you gotta be out there, man. You can't just be a studio artist. Like, I mean, some people are, but if you want to really make a difference and impact the industry, you gotta, you gotta perform too, man. You gotta do both. Yeah. In studio, stage, you know, stage presence is everything, right? Mm. Yeah. Where's your dream spot to perform? Right now, for now, because of where I am, mm. <laughs> um, I always talk about Veld. Yeah. Yeah. I always talk about Veld. That's the one. Where do they? That's in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In um, th- up Don Mills or wherever it is. I don't even no? know the venue. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just know it's in Toronto. Yeah. But, yeah. For now, like, I'm. I want to perform at Veld. Mm. Um. Everything else is so far out of reach. Sure. 
But it's you know, no, but that's a good it's a good way of thinking yeah. about it, right? I think there's a lot of people in the, in in that in, in the hip hop industry that think like I'm gonna go from like this one YouTube video I made to fucking selling out exactly. crazy shit. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's to me it sounds like a better mentality to like here's the attainable goal, tackle mm-hmm. it, tackle mm-hmm. it, tackle it, mm-hmm. uh, kind of keep moving up the ladder with it. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. Um, and so, what do you have in the pipeline now? You have. Uh, so you've got a bunch of songs. Are you still recording new? Um, it's funny. I haven't been to the studio in about like a couple of weeks, but um, I do have a video shoot coming up soon. Mm. So more so just doing behind the scenes, shit, like just working, um, just getting things in order, I guess. Right. Mm. Yeah. What are you, what song are you shooting video for now? Um, a song called On Me. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't released it yet. So got it. What's that about? Um, what is it about? It's about a girl, you know, stripper. It's very, it's R and B, you know, for the ladies. Very sexual, you know. Got to cater to everybody, so yeah. Is that your first R and B joint you've done or no? No, I actually released one early last year, but it's not like um, it, I was singing, but I wouldn't call it R and B because it wasn't really. It was actually talking about everything, females, life, everything. So mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, last year. February, I think. It's called Too Late. Yeah, go check that out. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. So, you've got five songs now. They're, and I saw they're, they're all out on everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Spotify and Apple and all that stuff. YouTube, Spotify, Apple. Yeah. yeah. So, <coughs> what, are you, what are you guys working on to kind of get those some exposure now? I know we were talking a little bit off camera. We had like a really good seven minute chat about yeah. YouTube ads yeah, that we should yeah. have fucking recorded. But. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, so, but that's that is a good idea. I know, like one of the the killer things with YouTube is now the ability, like I was saying before, to pick a keyword. So, someone searching on Google for mm. something, and then you giving them the video later. So, mm. you know, new hip hop artists or best new artists or new new hip hop music. That's mm. what they could search on Google, mm. right? Then the next time they're on YouTube, then you've got your yeah. your stuff going up. And I think honestly, with the quality of the videos, like they're really well produced. They yeah. have like a really that's Good key. Flag. Yeah, that's key. You know, yeah. I mean, like th- that type of thing. All it needs to do is get in the, ha- the right hands, mm. a handful of great people to share it out or do whatever they're going to do, and it could really take off. Mm-hmm. So YouTube ads, I think, yeah, I mm-hmm. think it's a really good place to place to play. Yeah. I um, um, I guess, I guess where we stand is like building relationships with, I guess, people, different people. Mm-hmm. Um, you're right, YouTube ads. I guess radio, if possible, you know, like... Mm. I saw, you had a, you had some play on the radio a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah. I, I think had, I saw it on your social. No, I had a, they played one song, one of my songs on Flow 93.5, mm. and then they had another song. They actually played Dreams okay. on 105.5 before it was even released, right? Where's that? Um, 105.5? Yeah, it's a, it's a radio station on the come up, right? Okay. Urban urban radio station, but they, is it here in Toronto? Yeah, in Toronto. Oh shit! Yeah, there you yeah. go. I think they're that. they're based out of York University, I think. Mm. Or yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, they had played that song like in December. I I was kind of confused on how they got it. <laughs> I think I sent it to a DJ, and then right. the DJ must have sent it to them, and then they ran it. So I was like, okay, surprise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and do you, do you get like do you find a good residual effect from that? Do you get some people reach out to you after they hear radio play for the most part, or is it kind yeah, of just yeah, some sometimes right? Like it depends. Like mostly like locals, like people I would know, like you know what I mean. Nobody out of the norm, you know. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And so, um, are you guys? chatting with other radio people and that do you guys kind of send up send it out to a bunch of people once it's out or yeah do you find we try to yeah yeah because i i feel like <clears throat> the big like commercial stations are harder to get it on to just because they've kind of got like here's our preset stuff that we have to work with yeah. i guess in like in the the later part of the day in the evenings they have a little bit more independent stuff i i feel like it's either you have to build a relationship with them mm. or you got to go viral or you gotta have bread. Yeah. It's one of, the, one of those three. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because it's, it's hard reaching out to certain radio stations and yeah. certain platforms, right? Especially if you don't, you're just representing yourself without somebody speaking for you, sure. right? So. Yeah. yeah, Instagram's a wild fucking thing right now. Like, we, we work with a couple of charities where mm. 
if they're trying to get you know if they're trying to get a grant or they're trying to get some money somewhere they're mm. like on the application it's like how many instagram followers do you have like mm. that's all it seems to be yeah right yeah. the viral yeah. stuff it's like all people status seem to care about. <laughs> yeah definitely uh you are putting out some good stuff on there though i yeah. see a thank lot you. of stories thank you a lot yeah. of interactive stuff which is good yeah. you get it like i don't know just for me from the stories or from the live side mm. it just because it pops up because mm. it's like right in the field of vision mm. it's a great place just to get consistent yeah exposure. i'm trying to i'm trying to be more I'm trying to come out of my shell more right mm. show my try to show myself and be more uh you know interact with yeah yeah it's awkward though yeah uh, something yes it depends the fucking camera yeah. like this yeah. talking talking it's it, <laughs> it takes a while to get used to yeah and, you know and especially like if you get on a bad kick of it where you like record it three times like man oh shit no i did that though <laughs> I, did, I did that <laughs> i did it like nine times i was looking at myself i'm like fuck no, no not this one yeah i'm like it's not me. <laughs> One of the best techniques that I found is mm. uh, not giving myself the option to re-record. I literally just go and then just hit off. Instead. Yeah, but then what if you stutter? Like you kind of fuck up one of your words. <laughs> I don't think people fucking care. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. but it is it is hard. Yeah. It's hard to get your like head around like, but I sounded like an idiot. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. And yeah. I guess it's different for me, like being like a you know trying to position myself as like a business personality. It's different than a hip like a rap persona, right? Mm. Like it's. Do you consider and a weird question? Do you consider hip hop or rap yourself like your genre of it? Hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. I don't actually know what the difference is. I I know that people qualify differently, but I don't. I don't know what is different. About I don't know. I think like rap is like you know you're you're a rapper like you yeah. know hip hop. I feel like it's, it's hip hop is the culture. Like it's what you do. It's mm. you know what I mean. Like I mean maybe back in the day, hip hop was I guess maybe a style of beat. I don't know. Mm. I don't really know. Like I don't really want to speak on it and sound like an idiot. But yeah. I just feel like I would call myself a hip hop artist because. I just I do everything right. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it's funny. That's like all I've listened to since forever. But mm -hmm. you see, like, you see a playlist for hip hop. You see a playlist for rap. To me, it's the same thing. But yeah. I've always always been curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There. I mean, maybe, maybe we can not. maybe we can Google it, right? <laughs> we can Google everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Uh, so radio, and then what about? Uh, Instagram, you're obviously putting out a bunch of content. Yeah. Um, are you guys thinking about doing some like advertising on Instagram as well? Yeah, we've done that. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah, boosting up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That one helps. of the one of the pieces of content that we did on our blog, and I recommend it to anyone that's in the art, any arts at all. Mm -hmm. So you've got um, a set of people that follow you already, yeah. right? An engaged following. So what you can actually do with a Facebook or an Instagram ad is you can get you can build an audience that tells Facebook, hey, go find more people like this group. Mm -hmm. So here's my X amount of following. Go find me more like those people. Really? Yeah. And then okay. what you can actually do is then when you put out that video, you mm -hmm. only target it to the people that look the most like your fans. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't actually understand how that works mm -hmm. i just know that it's a function within the facebook ecosystem mm -hmm. and it's really sweet like we we've actually tested it against like because you can target by like interests right mm -hmm. so i people that follow this artist or people that are into hip-hop music you can target that when you do an instagram ad mm -hmm. right your um your behaviors or your interests or your demographics but uh we found that if you do it based on the people the look alike the people that look like mm -hmm. um it actually brings usually brings a cost down to half so if you were paying like four cents for an engagement or whatever it was, mm. two cents instead, or like mm. two cents for a video view, pay one cent instead, mm. just because for in whatever way it does it, it finds people that actually are gonna uh, latch on to it. Yeah, yeah. Easier. So much little little tricks and trust me, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the digital space <clears throat> for advertising is super, super yeah. challenging, overwhelming. Yeah, definitely. Um, but. It, once it's funny actually once you like once you've like got it you got it yeah yeah, yeah. i'll i'll send you guys the blog that i did because it's actually like step by step how i've did it for another artist mm -hmm. that we work with mm -hmm. so it's like sh just step by step how you actually make that profile of people mm -hmm. and then how to, to run the ad out okay. you guys can play with that because i think i think it'll do really really well especially yeah. you know in the early stages where it's like there's not a ton of income there's not a ton mm -hmm. of this and that coming in from mm -hmm. it right mm -hmm. like 
it's a fucking grind. Yes, yeah. oh, right? definitely. Yeah, it's a grind for sure. Yeah. So every fucking yeah. twenty bucks you put in Instagram, yeah. <laughs> you want yeah. as much you want yeah. as much attention as possible. Yeah, yeah. I know it. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? <laughs> Where did I grow up? Yeah. Um, Mississauga. Born, born and raised in Mississauga. Yeah. What area? Yeah. Uh, Aaron Mills. Aaron Mills. Yeah. Yeah. I was in, um, actually, I don't even know what the area is called. Derry and Winston Churchill. Meadowville. 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 Yeah. 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 I lived there for two years. Dirty, dirty Meadowville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'm familiar. I'm familiar. So, when you're talking, uh, one thing that we've been doing to get the podcast out there more mm. is inviting people through Instagram, right? Finding the people that were like, yeah, this would be a cool person to reach out to. Mm-hmm. Um, but instead of DMing the person, being like, hey, it's whatever, we're reaching out for this. Voice notes. Voice notes. I say, listen, I huh? started doing that. Did you? I started doing that. Yeah. It works. It's crazy. I swear to God, it works. I know. Yeah. It's because people get, because when they read it, yeah. It's easier to say no when I've like already seen it. I'm like, yeah, yeah okay, I'll get to it later. Yeah. And then you forget. Yeah. But voice notes, tricky fucking things. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I started, the moment you said it, I started doing it. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, when, oh, when we, when we had dinner the other day. Yes, night. yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. And who are, you do, who are you reaching out to with that? Uh, like radio people? Um, Whoever. Like, hmm. pe- if I need, like, uh, somebody for, like, a couple females for videos, right? Yeah. They responded. Um, you know, a couple artists. I can't even, yeah, what? (laughs) Yeah, one other thing you could use them for is uh, if you've got people that have a show on YouTube or they've got a big following on Instagram already, but it's like people, like, they make videos that kind of fit your your feel, your vibe, like your persona. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd even reach out to them Mm -hmm. saying, hey, uh, I've got this song, I think it'd be a good fit. It's funny you say that. Um because I literally was on the phone with um, Votto. I don't know if you're familiar with the rapper Votto. No, no. Right? Same kind of concept. Right? Yeah. I had somebody reach out to him and sent him my newest video, and he opened it. Yeah. And he's like, salute, like, let's work. So <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Like, shit. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Fuck, you could even send that video through, too, yeah. to, like, uh, radio, like, DJs. People, yeah. who, people have playlists on Spotify. There's a platform. What the fuck is it called? But how do you know if it's real? How do you know they're legit? Like, a lot of people say they got playlists, right? So yeah. it's like, and then it's like, okay, we'll charge you to get on it type yeah. of thing. Like, but how do you know it's... Yeah. I think I wouldn't pay for it, to be honest. I would find... So I think it's how you frame it. It's how you market it, right? Mm. So if it's somebody that's got a big following, allegedly, or Mm. they they feel like they're an influencer in the space, Mm. as soon as you reach out, they're going to be like, cool, this is my rate. And and you're always going to get that, right? You're going to get people that are going to do that. But I think there's probably a good selection of people that have 5,000 followers, 10,000 followers, where you could reach out and be like, hey, I want to give you, I'm going to give you this as a mm. gift. You don't say it like that. Mm. But the way you, you know what I mean? The way you present it mm. is, hey, I'm going to help you out with your content because I have this great stuff yeah. and you can use it. Yeah. Because you have to remember a lot of these guys, they rely on content to make their channel, mm. right? Even those like those uh, accounts where they aggregate stuff, right? So like Hot Vocals and At Rap. I mean, At Rap's very big, obviously. Yeah, big, but yeah. there's a whole bunch of different ones that all they do is they post cool shit that they found. Mm-hmm. And if you're making cool enough shit, which mm-hmm. I think your music videos mm-hmm. and that are, mm-hmm. I'd send that out to them be like, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm giving this to you because it's great content. You mm-hmm. can post it. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. That's actually a different way to go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the second you're like, hey, I'm interested in X, it's like, cool, what's that price going to be? Mm-hmm. But if, if you just drop it in their lap, be like, hey, this is like my consent for you to go ahead and use it on your channel. Mm-hmm. I think you get some people. You're still going to get some people that are like, cool, it's 500 bucks, yeah. 40 bucks, whatever yeah. it is. Um, but I think if you send out enough, I think you get a whole bunch of people that would respond that way. Okay, I'll try it. Yeah. Might okay. as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, the way I've been doing it is uh, I'll save all the profiles in a notepad mm-hmm. and I just go, I just click it, it opens up an Instagram, mm-hmm. send them a message, go to it. Now you don't have to like, you don't know oh, even, so you just you, click it and it goes directly. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sense, if you set up, a, if you set up enough of them, yeah, 20 or 30, yeah. it just makes it punching it out easier Yeah. yeah. because you get in the wormhole. <clears throat> and then I find, especially with like discovery and searching by hashtags and shit, mm. a lot of the same people are using the one over and over again. Mm-hmm. So you'll get through seven or eight or nine unique ones. Mm-hmm. And then fucking, then you're on to the, 
you're on with the same person again, or it's mm. like, shit, where am I going to find them? And then as soon as that process becomes long and arduous, you're like, fuck this, I don't want to do it. It's happened, yeah. Yeah. You're right. It's happened, yeah. <laughs> um, we're using a, a company called Gen M right now. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, interns. So they get like some kind of credit towards schooling or yeah. something, yeah. but they give you 10 hours a week for three months, um, and it's all... In the, for, in the name of like them getting work experience yeah, yeah. so I was saying you guys should yeah I think you signed up for it yeah, yeah. Um, where you can have people saying hey I'm looking for people to reach out to mm-hmm. here's my parameters and then they can go and build that list build that and then list. you just sit there and fucking vocalize yeah, it yeah so okay. that's an interesting way to do it yeah and then it's just audio 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 sit there with a little okay yeah. do you use a little mic on your phone or do you just talk right into it no I just talk right into it yeah yeah yeah, I was playing with uh, recording actual podcasts on my phone, but yeah. it's like an awkward little stick. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. It's not great. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel you. <laughs> um, I think that's I think that's the majority of the, the the thoughts I had in terms of like getting out the content. I think, especially when it's just time on your side mm-hmm. and you you've got the ability during the day or, or whenever it is to do that. I think reaching out by voice is like my number one recommendation just because you can hit people in a really personalized way and if they've got x amount of people that they'll post out to Mm -hmm. all the better um the youtube ads i think will really really work but you'll have to go into so the one when you're doing it on your phone it doesn't give you a lot of options in the app yeah so if you go on the desktop you can go there's two targeting things i would do one is uh hip-hop fans Mm -hmm. and so i know they have some where it's like instrument based things so there's different there's different categories you'll just have to like click around when you t- search in hip-hop mm-hmm. it'll have like uh, maybe like 10 different options so just make sure you're on the option that's music preference is hip-hop because mm-hmm. it might it'll be like different weird shit yeah, yeah. it did happen to me yeah, yeah. Um, and then you can use so the same thing you'd log into that yeah. google ads tool mm-hmm. there's also a thing uh it's called the keyword planner so it's like right at the top of the screen. Mm-hmm. And you can go in and say like, give me ideas. My first keyword is new hip hop music. Mm-hmm. And it'll spit out hundreds of keyword options of like, you know, and it'll be it'll be like really similar stuff, but like mm-hmm. just slight variations, like new hip hop, new hip hop artists, new hip hop music, new mm-hmm. hip hop songs, a lot of similar. Mm-hmm. But what you can do is, uh, save all of them, save all the ones that are relevant to make a pool of like 50 or 60 and then copy them. And then when you go in to create the ad, what keywords do you want to use? You just paste Paste them all in. Yeah. 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 And then that'll, that'll trigger when someone searches on Google. Um, that'll maximize what you're going to get for sure on YouTube by a lot. So same shift. Yes. Where'd that come from? How'd you come up with that? Um, I guess it came the same shift, I don't know, it's the way of life, I guess. Um, you know, we're all on the same shift. Everybody's working towards something every day. You know what I mean? Um, legal, illegally, you're always on the same shift. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's basically how I came about with the name. Did you ever use it? When I first heard it, I thought it was a good idea for like a play, like same shit. Some people say that. Yeah. Same shit. Same. Yeah. Some, some people always get it mixed up. Confused, but <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. I just yeah. mean like you could almost use it like a play. Like to me, the same shift. Like we're all living the same thing. Sometimes yeah. we're all doing the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Maybe that could be a lyric. Yeah. Probably not, but whatever. It's fine. You never know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And then so and you've been have you been working under that name for for all time or is that just since you're like two year kind of? Yeah, literally like for two years. Hmm. I used to go by. JR. JR. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Is that actual like real initials? Or uh, somewhat, yeah. yeah. It was for my father, but you know, yeah. Nice. Um, and what inspires you the most from a music standpoint? Um, is it something like, is it from your father, from your past? Is that like what sparks it for you, or is it just. Um, yeah, he has somewhat to do with it, but now it's more so. Like enjoying it, enjoying, I guess people's reactions. I guess people, kind of connecting with me, do what I'm saying and and relating to what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? And sometimes, like even me, like I shock myself. Like fuck, like I just wrote that. Like you know. <laughs> so, 
yeah it's more it's more so personal now like before it was just like fun and whatever but like i actually enjoy writing my thoughts down on paper and then having somebody say oh i fuck with that song like you know like i can relate or yo this one that's my joint right there mm. you know what i mean somebody picking a favorite song out of different ones that i release you know what i mean but, yeah, yeah it's funny art in whatever format has a weird way like the the <laughs> reaction of people having a sentiment or it being able to help like mm-hmm. i know uh like with I, a lot more so with music but um you've got the ability to like pick up someone's day or you inspired them in a certain way mm-hmm. and it's like an interesting feedback loop of like wait i did what mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah even for even for myself like you find motive i find motivation in my own song sometimes right so mm. and uh <clears throat> Where where do you want to take this whole thing? I mean, I know we talked a little bit about shows and performance. Are you the kind of guy who wants to like fucking take over, take over the world, playing mm, like? Uh, I don't want that kind of attention. Not the whole world, but I mean, yeah. a good majority of it. I mean, I want to be able to work with people. I actually want to help people more than help myself. Like you know, become a songwriter. You know, give away some sauce. You know. Mm-hmm. You know, put somebody in a better position. You know what I mean? Have you uh, have you done that? Have you done that kind of work where you give out that type of content to help someone? Along? Yeah, I've, I've I've given I've worked with a few people and and written a song or two, but um, nothing major, right? Hmm. Some ideas, you know. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> don't take for granted the 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 impact of that. Like mm-hmm. I find, like even sometimes just with like marketing or whatever, right? Like a mm-hmm. friend's got a business, mm-hmm. you give them like that one idea that they're like, man, that game changer. You're like, nah, I know, but like that's just something I knew. Mm-hmm. Like, I already fucking knew about it. It was it was nothing off your back, mm-hmm. but it can be fucking life changing. Yeah, right. It could spark, could get in the hands of the right person. There's so many, yeah, so many things. It's a cool, it's a it's a cool thing to have your talent be able to do something meaningful yeah I definitely so. yeah yeah and you don't not everybody gets it right yeah not everybody has that like a lot of people you know they can give in a different way but from a standpoint of like what i make my money from is also something that mm-hmm. right there's a lot of like nine to five jobs that that's just not going to happen mm-hmm doing whatever task doing whatever you can motivate or give something back in a different way but like i really like that it's also through the way that that's the channel that I make money through. And mm-hmm. then there's like the giving back to that industry. We've talked to a lot, I talked to a lot of like people that are just starting companies or just mm-hmm. building their own agencies. And I've made all the mistakes mm-hmm. that have cost a lot of fucking money. Yeah, I, yeah. I went down the software path once and it was expensive and I, I made a ton of mistakes. So I, I'm not good at listening mm-hmm. to people. Yeah. I just have to make it for myself. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. But uh, being able to give that feedback loop to somebody who you can see going down the path, you're like, yo, no, no, trust me. I've already fucked this up. Yeah, don't that's, do it. That's, that's me. Yeah. 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 Yeah, very cool. Um, all right. Well, thanks so much for coming, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, really fucking enjoy the music. I'm excited about what's coming up. Dope, dope. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Definitely, man. All right. All right. There. Are you happy now, kids? <laughs> <laughs>